He used to be a simple man, in love with a simple girl. His soulmate. She was his one. Powerful members of a gifted people called Travelers. When we were engaged to be married, we decided to reach even further. I don't ever want to be parted from you, even by death. He wanted to find a way for our love to last forever. Like a lovesick idiot, I created an entire garden for our wedding. And I made a spell that would keep us alive forever. An immortality spell, so we would never have to part. Silas and I were going to drink the immortality elixir as part of our wedding ceremony. But then, everything around me started to die. My wedding flower, the garden trellis, our harvest. And then I realized why Silas had already used the immortality spell. He was already drinking the elixir somewhere else. He took what he wanted. And the trail couldn't cut any deeper. I learned that his actual true love was someone very close to me. My handmaiden. Just as you are mine, I am yours forever. Because when I look at you, I see, isn't he? What are you doing here? I brought you two gifts. The first is the chalice from which we were to drink at our wedding. I know you must be very angry with me. I was. For a time. But then I realized it was within my power to forgive you. By creating this. Your second gift. A cure for immortality. It's not possible. I promise you it works. I just used it on someone else immortal. What did you do? Mora. She couldn't speak after I cut her throat. But I could tell by the way her heart was beating. She knew she was going to die. I will kill you. I will kill you. You will not come near me unless you take the cure and give up your immortality. <clears throat> Human lives together.